How do you know that you are a Christian? Just ask your neighbor that question. How do you know you are a Christian? Two, how do you know you are anointed? I just want to give you some questions today. How do you know you are a Christian? Two, how do you know you are anointed? Can you just ask your neighbor? How do you know you are anointed? See. Okay. Which gift of the Spirit are you having? And are you sure about that? Which gift of the Spirit? If truly you are anointed by that gift, what are you doing? What are you using? What are you doing it about it? What is that you are doing about it? <laughs> if it's truly you are anointed with that gift, what is that you are doing with it? How many, the last question is, how many people have you led to Christ? Because when I'm looking at your church, it's members of another church. How many people? Have you led to Christ? Because when I look at your church, it's the members of another church. So how many you have led to Christ? If they are members of another church, how many you have led to Christ? How will you say you are a Christian if you are failing to lead one person to Christ? One. And you can say, I have a gift. What kind of gift is that? Because in the Bible, there's no gift of recruiting. There's no gift of recruiting members. How many people have you led to Christ? If we, ch we check the book of Acts, you will see that uh, when we look at the lives of apostles, all of them sent there. Another one has been sent there. When was the last time have you been sent to minister to someone? Not in the church, somewhere outside of the church. Can you ask somebody, have you been sent to go and minister to someone outside of the church for salvation? And it's not for yourself, but Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about open air. I'm not talking about a crusade. I'm talking about you being sent to that one. You being sent to. Go to whom whom. I'm not talking about, you have got a gift, isn't it? So now, have you been sent to someone and you are given the name, the place where the, pe the person is? Send to. So how can you say you have Holy Spirit? Because Holy Spirit is not coming here to entertain us. Why do we talk too much in tongues without direction? I mean, if now we say, let's pray here, you people, you'll be tanksing, tanksing, tanksing. And this tanksing, you know, is another language. So we prefer another language also to speak back to you. And then, and when you speak back to you, you have to be sent out. I will tell you why I'm asking you these questions. We seem to be like, Focusing on others than ourselves. We seem to be, even when I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, it's, not, it's no longer for myself, it's for other people. The people must know that I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I will make a lot of money. 
I want to be famous. I want to be like a woman. I want to reach the whole world, but you have not reached you. You want to reach the whole world, but you have not reached yourself. Tell you you want to reach the whole world, but you have not reached yourself. Christianity starts with me. What is Christianity? Christianity means fellowshipping with God. It's not going out. It's not a gift. It's not a gift. It's fellowshipping with God. Fellowshipping with God bring oneness with God. The moment when you are busy with God, busy, is that God will talk. But we are busy with others than ourselves. No fellowship. With God. Today, what we have prayed for when we come to church, oh, speak with me, speak with me. About what? Something. About, some, about a car, about a house. We, we seem to be like we are not focusing in ourselves. Everything around us gives us direction. We don't have fellowship with God. What we need now is God, God, my healing. Not my spirit, my healing. My job. My business. My car. My church. My wife, my husband. My business. business. We are fellowshipping with that. Our focus is those things. Things that must follow us in the time of our God. Okay, let's read the Bible today. Maybe we can learn a lot about the Christian life. Because our Christian life is, is biased. Our focus today is my leg. Let me go to church. My headache. My business is not business doing well. Is my job. If those things were solved, what is the reason of coming to church? If your leg is solved, your business is booming, your business is my marriage is going well, no problem. So what is the reason again of prayer? prayer? If we want to see that you are not a Christian, it's when now God gives you everything you are crying for. You won't, you won't have devotion. You, you won't, won't pray. pray. You won't do fasting. The reason why you are call. doing fasting now is because you don't have food. You are trying to save them. You are trying to save them. You are fasting because you are, you are not getting what you want now. <laughs> the reason why you are doing fasting is because <laughs> you are fasting. Can you see why you are failing in the fellowship with God? What God wants from us today is not, it's not this place we are talking about. Is to be one with him. A fellowship with him. Tell him a God one fellowship. The reason why Jesus died on the cross is for reconciliation. He must come back to our senses and know that we have been created by God. So now, why are we in the church? I want to be anointed. I want to be anointed. After you are anointed, I want to be very rich. After you become rich, so you'll be doing your things. Many people today, they are going to mountain, praying, and bridge everywhere. Because their focus is searching for something. It's not, it's not to have fellowship with him.